It's Wednesday, the 17th of April 2019, and we're at Kirk Cordy Lynx Market Fair, Europe's longest street fair. So, it's my second ever time here. I'm here with Becca, who's just in front, and Becca's sister is also here in fancy dress. It's Becca's younger sister, Chrissy, who will hopefully be in the vlog later on. With or without the costume, I'm not so sure. But yeah, it's a um, fair that I've done before. I did it in 2015. It's one of the most popular fairs in Britain and especially popular up here in Scotland. And my memories of it from last time is that it's really well priced, a lot of fun, lots of really good rides. The only issue with today at the minute is that the wind is really, really strong. So it may impact on the audio of this video ever so slightly. It may also impact on some of the running of the rides. But yeah, here on Pleasure Beach Experience, we love a good travelling fair. We love going down to London for Hyde Park in the winter. So I'm going to enjoy this today. Hopefully get on a couple of rides. Hopefully get some on-ride footage on the rides. It's usually not a problem filming on the rides at a fair. And yeah, hope to give this place some good publicity. And if you uh, are up in the area and you've never done it before, then definitely give it a go. Going on anything today, Becca? I'm not sure yet. Not sure? Yeah. See how it goes. Yeah. Would you like to introduce your sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy creature. Fluffy creature. PB's mascot. PB's new mascot. <laughs> but wearing Pleasure Beach merch. Old Pleasure Beach. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Pleasure no, Beach changed. merch has been changed. Fair enough. I, am I, st I stand corrected. Underneath, it's underneath. It's underneath. Cleared up. It is cold. It is bloody cold. This is Chrissy. <laughs> yeah. So, Becca, you know more about this place than me. Any memories of yours or anything in particular the viewers should know? No, it's just... Just good. We've, we've come to the kingdom. The kingdom. <laughs> uh, they always like to remind us from over the bridge that this is the kingdom. Yeah. Um, some of my family come from here. So yeah, we'll just go with the flow, eh? Yeah. Question is, is that the same wild mouse from the Iron Brew Carnival that we did in December? It certainly looks like it. And if it is, then we're in for a treat because that was great in December. Although out here it'll be a little bit colder. So we're not sure if the booster's going to open, because like I've been saying, it's really windy. It's been parked up there for quite a while, which is usually the position they're parked in overnight when they're not running. Of course, with it being windy, it might not be weather for it to operate in, but hopefully the wind drops and hopefully we'll get on it, because I do love to go on one of those rides. Obviously, don't get to do them very often unless you come to a travelling fair. So I'm keeping the camera running just to kind of show you what is about here. So the wild mouse is there. Chris is getting lots of attention in her outfit from the locals, thinking it's some sort of mascot for the event. I think. So if I keep walking down here, you can see more of the rides and, H well, not HP Leisure uh, games, but similar games to the HP Leisure that you would find in your usual theme parks and stuff. And you can get some nice donuts. So yeah, well, uh, we'll get on some rides now and hopefully be able to share some on-ride footage and we'll let you know how it goes. One thing I will say just before I do stop filming at this moment in time is uh, a couple of people have said that there's not quite as many rides here as in the past which for me is hard to say because like I said I've only been once before which was 2015. The um, star shape air is not here this time as far as I'm aware which is a shame. I remember saying back at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland that I wasn't going to do it because I'd do it here, but it's not here, unfortunately. But plenty of other good looking rides, so like I say, we'll get on them now and we'll let you know how we get on and hopefully see you on the rides. 
So to give some sort of perspective of how big this place is, we're now at the far end of the Lynx Market Fair, and back down there is where the booster is. So it's some way away from where we are now, which just goes to show how big it is. And some good news, the booster is moving. It's a Macarena. Hi. So yeah, the, uh, the fair is now officially open. It's just been opened. It's uh, two o'clock here, so yeah, we're gonna go do some rides at last, so should be good. to the sea. it on this I've got to admit oh geez oh Jesus it's been a while since I've done one of these oh god oh no I get a little bit nervous when they haven't got a floor for some reason there we go stuff quite literally Probably guess from the audio. since I've done a booster and I've got to say I've been really nervous here and it's about to get worse because this is the part that I hate the most there is literally only me on it I'm going to sit here now looking straight down this is a bit where I don't like the fact there's no floor because I'm literally like dangling by my shoulders here oh jeez I hope they don't take too long putting the people on at the bottom. Thank goodness for that. Looks like we're going to be moving. 
I'll be honest, I don't want another cycle, I'm ready to get off. That's enough booster action for me for one year. children or you just want to have a wander and see what's on offer there's loads to do and I would totally recommend it like I said earlier on as well the prices for the rides are really reasonable this Pleasure Beach Experience video here at Kirk Cordy and I've got to say it's been an excellent couple of hours here for the first day of the Lynx Market Fair and I would totally recommend that you get down here and give it a go if you're in the local area or if you're well even an hour or an hour and a half away come and give it a go there's, there's loads of rides here and they're all really well priced really fairly priced you get good cycles on the flat rides, you get decent rides on the coasters. There's obviously only a few coasters here. There's the Wild Mouse or Crazy Mouse. I'm not sure which one it is, I think it's a Wild Mouse. And then you've got a couple of like Big Apple, Crazy Clown sort of coasters for the kids. But yeah, whether you're coming with thrill seekers, whether you're coming with family, or even if you come on your own and you love fairgrounds and travelling rides, then I totally recommend it. It's well worth a visit. It's on until the 22nd of April, so it's on over Easter weekend. And yeah, I've really enjoyed the couple of hours that we've been here. Becca and Chrissy and Charlie have headed back to the car now. But yeah, that's it for me as well. So yeah, let us know if you, in the comments if you're going to be heading down here. Let us know if you've been before, and of course, let us know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.